time in going for this gold. Going to move an overlord up here, could come down and take this expansion any time he wanted. But wanted to produce more units at the moment, wanted to pop these overlords out to avoid getting supply blocked. Now if we come over here, you see again, just heavily defended by these missile turrets. Now these, while useful, are, you know, that's money you could have spent on marines. And marines can defend just as well, but can also push out to attack whenever they want. Now the uh, the first armor upgrade going down, along with the, uh, the first one, I'm going to destroy these rocks going to try and take this gold expansion needs to do that needs to do that look at the shortage of money here really does need to take this meanwhile this bailing speedling army is just building up just going to sit here in a kind of defensive capacity these muters again could go out cause some harass instead they're just going to sit here and here's my favorite part we see the ultralisk cavern going down now the Ultralisk Cavern is one of my favourite buildings because it produces Ultralisks and Ultralisks are amazing. This was pre-patch as well so these are really devastating things against Thors. Things are going to start getting exciting now so I'm just going to drop it down to normal speed. We're going to watch the, uh, the last of this um, replay in normal speed because I really want to take a look at this that's going on. We're going to see these users go the wrong way and some of them are going to get hurt. A few bailings rolling forward, taking out that front row of marines. But now just sitting back on his feet, overlords going down. Finally moving these links out, finally moving them out. These marines are going to go down, these marines go down. Horrendous, these vikings really getting good air control. Took down all those munilets. One Thor goes down, these Thor's on very little health, both those Thor's go down, these Lynch moving out. Look at this, still got one Thor with full health, one siege tank, and all these Vikings, look at them, going to come in and just take down these Overlords. One Queen here is really not enough to take on all these Vikings. Do we see anything else coming out? Do we see anti-air coming out? We see more Lynch, more Lings popping out. But does is gonna have to get some anti-air. These links, you know, gonna deal with this siege tank fine, and that siege tank. But these Vikings could just get total air superiority. Could come around, could start taking out these overlords, and that's really gonna stop Wolfsey from building any more units very shortly. This little fight going on here. The siege tanks are just gonna go down very, very quickly. Not a lot they can do. These Vikings still just flying about doing whatever they feel like. This queen, finally getting the queens on them. Going to take down one, going to hurt that one a bit more. Three of them in the yellow, but still just going to take down these overlords. Look at the supply block going on here. 83 of 72. 83 of 64 now. Just cannot produce any more units. This gold expansion is down. He is getting the money in. And the gas is coming in, but he can't use it. Just having to produce more overlords. Finally managing to get unsupply blocked. Obviously not lasting too long, but if Tomo had been able to follow all that up, he really could have done some damage. As it is, he's popping out a few more Vikings. He's got another Thor. He's not really producing for these factories. Not producing for these barracks. He's got some money. He's got some money. These upgrades are at 1-1 one, one at the moment. These upgrades, however, about to get to 3-3, three, three, going to give those Zerglings real advantages. And now this Ultralisk Cavern is there. We are going to see Ultralisks in this game. And I am so very, very pleased about that. Did miss earlier. Uh, did forget. This expansion did not work um, with the harass going on. Kind of missed that and all the excitement that was going on up here, but it was a very good move from Wolfsey to make sure it didn't go down, just keeping Tomo locked in this base, dropping four mules, five, six mules out at a time to really try and get back on top of this mineral count. This extractor's gone, another mule coming down, but this is nearly mined out. He needs this expansion to go down so badly. And as we see, more overlords popping out here. We see Lings, we see Mutalisks. Are we going to see some Ultralisks? He's got the Ultralisk Cavern. 
Some have got to pop out soon. Here they are. They're trading now. Oh, I'm about to be so excited uh, if, if these Ultralisks come out because oh, I love them. They're a fantastic unit. Look at all the money Tomo is spending on these missile turrets to defend an expansion that isn't even here yet. That is the kind of thing that can happen. Especially when you trade armies with someone else and end up coming off the worst. It is not good at all. This army now moving down. Just going to sit here, just going to watch for the enemy. Needs to get the command centre here as fast as possible. These muters going to walk past, going to see these missile turrets. Going to come up here, going to see these. Maybe going to do a bit of damage. Just needed to keep his eye on those Woofsy to uh, to not get them stuck around the missile turret. I'm going to sit them right in a safe spot here. This command center is going down. It is building, but uh, it's going to be a little flaky. These people are going to fly straight into that army. Decent anti air there, not stimming with the Marines yet. Good idea. These mutants now. A lot of them down to half health. We've got the Ultralists out now. Fantastic. Two Ultralisks at the moment. Obviously going to see some more popping out. We've got all this lava he could be using. All these lava here. Look at the options. Ultralisks, he's got Corruptors, he's got Mutalists, Infestors. He can do anything he wants. He has the money to do it. He just needs to avoid this little supply block here that he's done to himself again. Meanwhile, this army from Tomo gathers down here. Still hasn't dropped that command center here. Needs to do it. It lifts off finally. It's moving. It's going to land there. Is it too little, too late? He's going to be so far behind soon. He's going to run out. And here we see just a little attack coming. The Vikings moving up with the uh, with the medevacs. A few Reapers going to sit up here, safe and calm. But these mutants are going to come out, and there is a lot more of them than there are these. Really going to devastate them. Really going to take down these medevacs. Going to take down the Vikings. These Banelings just rolling out one at a time, going to destroy that little army there. Marauder here, very good against these Banelings, these need to move out. Now we see the Ultralisks coming into play. Going to come down here, not so great against these little units, are going to get taken out by this mass, this mass of Thors and Siege Tanks. And again, it looks like Tomo's got the advantage, Tomo's got the advantage now. He's just going to be able to move forward, he's going to be able to take out these Overlords and supply but well, he's not going to be able to supply block very quickly. We'll see, uh, thanks to losing that army. And now this Ultralist coming out. He has oh, more and more Ultralists. Four Ultralists out now. This is going to devastate what's left of those Marines. They're going to take out that siege tank. They're going to come for these Thors. They're going to come down for these Thors. Just two of them moving. Needs to get them all down there. You see more and more speed links popping out now. All of these speeders are going to come down here. The Ultralist though, just attacking. We're down to just two Ultralists left. Two Ultralists in red. One goes down. But all the Thors have gone now. All the Thors have gone. It's just siege tanks left here. Siege tanks left against all these links of this one Ultralisk. And it goes down. One siege tank here is just not going to be enough from Tomo. Not at all. Oh, this is devastating for Tomo. That huge army push completely destroyed by good use of lings and ultralisks. This expansion is down. It's the expansion he needs because these minerals are nearly gone. These minerals are now all gone. This gas is gone. He just needs money. He needs to be churning more units out. Has got the infantry armour upgrade up to uh, up to level 2 now. But it's just not going to be enough. Two Vikings out. Pop in su two siege tanks. Four siege tanks. Six siege tanks being made ready and it's just not going to be enough it's a useful defense against these ultralisks of which we now have two although one is still devastatingly in the red with still 139 hit points left we're going to see some banelings come out what Wolfsey needs to do is just if he stops this expansion from happening at all if he can take it down he's got this game won because there are no minerals left for Tomo to mine anywhere else. He really needs that gold to stay on top of the game. 
and we're just seeing more units come out. This gold nearly finished now. This expansion nearly finished. Could pop a hatchery up here to just continue amassing these minerals. This unit here quickly being taken down by uh, by those huge tanks, but they're going to come in. This planetary fortress is good against lings, but it's just there's too many of them, and they all go down. These Vikings now coming across, but they can't do anything. There are no air units here for the Vikings to attack. This tiny little Marine Marauder army is just not going to do anything. These Bailings just going to roll up to them, and oh, they're all gone. They are all gone. Just these three Marauders left at low health. Nothing they can really do here. Massing these siege tanks here, just sieging up along here. Terrified terrified that Wolfsey is going to come into the base. Popping out some medivacs, maybe going to try for some harass, but it's a bit too late for that. Nothing coming out of here because he just doesn't have the minerals to produce all the time. Look at these, just 195 there, 55 there, 130 there. Nothing at all left in this base. And you can see here Wolfsey just moving ahead we look at the income look at the difference there Wolfsey with over a thousand income while Tomo just sits at 260 that is just going to devastate him if this game continues on much longer we are just going to see Tomo completely fall behind in terms of minerals this base is down it's not come back because he doesn't even have the minerals to do it. He doesn't even have the minerals to pop another command center. What he could be doing is picking this up, could be floating it on down here, could be floating it here now, getting more minerals, but he just hasn't thought of that. Oh, I just, I don't know what to say anymore. These minerals are gone. These minerals are gone. These minerals are gone. If Tomo doesn't do something within the next few seconds really Wolfsey is just going to mass this army, more ultralists come out, more lings, more muters it's just going to be devastating we see a hatchery trying to go down here but it is being stopped and these medivacs are going to move away but it's just not going to be enough Wolfsey still with the money, completely finished mining out that gold, still got a few things here going to see these medivacs fly in full of marauders, we're going to see 8 marauders come down but it it just it isn't going to be enough, look at this 8 marauders, it's not going to be enough to stop that kind of army you see maybe the queen going out trying to take down that ultralist cavern, going to get it does take down that ultralist cavern does stop any more ultralist, but look at this now it's too late for that all this is going to go down these mutants are going to take down the medivac oh there goes all those marauders now these marauders are able to sit up here at the moment and just attack down there but Tomo's good gaming there is just nothing left for him to do he has no minerals he has nothing and there we see Wufsi go one game up in the first round of the EU XKCD Starcraft 2 tournament thanks for listening and we'll be back with game 2 shortly